Hello, my name is Roberto Poyato, and in this video I will talk about evaporation and its application to the detection of humidity problems. When the molecules on the surface of a liquid acquire enough energy to break the bonds between them and overcome the surface tension, then they can escape the liquid and we say that evaporation occurs. In order to pass to a gaseous state, the molecules must take energy from their neighbors, which will reduce the kinetic energy of those neighbors and that means that they will cool down. This process can be seen very easily with an infrared camera. If for example we pour alcohol at room temperature, let's say about 19 degrees Celsius on a paper at the same ambient temperature, in a few seconds we will see how the paper is cooled by the evaporation of alcohol. The temperature is reduced by about 5 degrees Celsius. This situation can be used to detect moisture on the walls as the water of the wet area will evaporate continuously, reducing the temperature of the area with the moisture. And with the help of an infrared camera, we will be able to visualize this area at a lower temperature. The sooner we detect the humidity and its origin, infiltration, condensation, etc., the sooner we will solve the problem and the smaller the damage will be. Moisture gives rise not only to aesthetic problems on the walls, but also to potential health problems caused by the appearance of mold. As the temperature variation between the dry zone and the zone with the humidity problems could be small, for this type of application we will have to consider a parameter of the thermal camera called thermal sensitivity, which represents the smaller difference of temperature that the camera is able to detect between two points of the image. The smaller the sensitivity value, the better we will detect those small temperature differences. For example, the Fluke TA400 infrared camera offers a thermal sensitivity equal or less than 0.05 degrees Celsius. 